Okay, welcome along to Camarina Sur CWC Kemsaw Water Sports Complex. We're here for the first Asian Wake Park Championships. This is history in the making today. It's the first Wake Park Championships ever. Uh, it's going to be the start of many more to come. We've got riders from Thailand. We've got one rider from Thailand who's 10 years of age who's making a lot of the older guys sweat on the wake skate. He's just a young guy killing it. We've got guys from Korea and ladies as well. We've, we've had some here for, um, for the last six months training for the World Championships and for this. We've got riders from Japan, from Singapore, and of course from the Philippines, a bunch of riders from the Philippines. Look at this. You've got all these lovely ladies here to serve you. Uh, we've even got these beautiful... Asian Wake Park Championship t-shirts, pretty flash too, check them out. How many riders roughly do you think we've got so far? 65. This is the first championship, uh, Asian Championship too. Uh, the next championship we will have the Boat Lake, which you can see over this way. We'll have the Boat Lake, which will probably, I think, triple the amount of people that will be in the next competition, maybe even more. So there's a lot of boat wakeboarders, Asian boat wakeboarders out there. Uh, we've got to show you around. Let's go and um, visit some of our riders. It's crazy the amount of sponsors we've got. We've got Smart. We've got San Miguel Beer. So those guys who like to have a beer, we'll get some San Miguel. Some Shell, which is what I put in my motorbike, of course. Shell Fuel. We've got Pepsi. It's good gear, good for you. Castrol. That's the oil that I put in my whippersnipper. And also good fuel too that I put in my motorbike. Then we've got Liquid Force. They make wakeboards. They make life jackets. They make pretty much you name it, they make it. Skull Candy. If you haven't seen Skull Candy, then you're just not living in the year 2000. Up. Oh. There's Helium Life Jackets. Uh, then we've got Circa. Circa Shoes. Uh, we've got Bone Helmets too. And Dragon Sunglasses. His name is KK. Uh, he's a wake skater. I've seen this guy killing it in the last couple of days, even the last couple of months. How long have you been in the uh, Philippines at CWC? Uh, now just seven to seven, seven months already. Yeah, <laughs> like in my house. <laughs> so this is uh, KK's house here. His name Wakeboarder. His name is Chu. Hello. How long have you been in this country for? Uh, six months and... I'm out on the water. This guy is the style man. England! And why are you here? Because we love it here. <laughs> Did you know that there's a lot of fully grown men here today who are getting worried about your wake skating? You're 10, and these guys are 20, 25, even some young ones around 30, like me, and uh, who are worried about your wake skating. What do you think about that? Cool. <laughs> is he going to be a world champion one day or is that, am I putting too much pressure on him? Well, he's enjoying it and that's the important thing, but he's getting better, so you never know. Huh? So let's, let's, see. let's see how he does. Cool. I'm Mickey from Thailand. And uh, what do you think of this place? What, what, firstly, what's your favourite trick? Other than me, who's your favourite rider? Brai Wan Nek Di. How many times have you been to CWC since it opened? I've been here about, this is the third time, yeah, and I feel, feel good every time I've been here. This, how many times have you been here? Um, this is the third time. Third time, cool. So they keep coming back, they come here once, love it, and come back. Is that why you came back? You, yeah. you love it? This is the best cable in the world. Awesome. Yeah. I think, oh, if you look over behind us, if you look at these ridiculously good looking people behind us here, <laughs> that's Anna there. Trying to look like she's not in the camera, she's hiding. The one with, one with the green on there, she's our cable park manager. Can you see her? I thought she was going to run away from the camera. Let's just go and we'll interview these last couple of people and then we'll let everyone have lunch. What does she think of having you here? She loves it, I'm sure. She's super stoked. She couldn't be more happy. Look at her, see? <laughs> super pumped. So this is Clay Fletcher. Um, he's all the way from Canada, I think. We're, Can all, we're, all, we're all North Americans. And you, this guy's from America? Now I'm from Canada, eh? Yeah. Represent Canucks. I think. Rides behind a jet ski. 
and he rides a trick ski. Um, they're the ones who stand like this, and they wear really short shorts. Like, <laughs> like that. Can you show us your short shorts? Ooh. Yeah. He's looking, he's looking good. Oh, this camera's flicking. Uh, now, what do you think of um, some of the riders out here on the lake? It's going to be hot. Hot. They're hot, man. He's already getting into a hot sauce. I've been here two years, and I still can't put that much hot sauce. He's all the way from the projects. He owns the projects, one of the most famous uh, wakeboard camps in the world, with Scott Biley, one of the most famous riders. And this guy, I think, you were number one in the world last year, were you? <laughs> Number one for I don't know what, but yeah, <laughs> number one. At least his wife thought so. Uh, yeah, she loves me. In the last year, how many times you been here? I think this is my fifth time back. Whoa, so other than me, what else brings you here? Um, well, uh, other, than, other than the work, it's, uh, it's a, an amazing place. It's beautiful. Uh, the people are awesome, and it's just a, it's an experience. It definitely is. It's totally different from what we have in the States, and um, yeah, it's so what do, you, what do you think when Gov says to you, I want to build the best boat lake in the world? Does that get you excited or what did you think of that? Yeah, you know, that's, that's what I love about this place too is the forward thinking. Uh, he's always looking to improve on our sport and to make it better and giving us the opportunity to do that, not just looking around and saying, oh, that's how they do ski lakes or that's how they do wakeboard lakes and doing it himself, actually hiring in people and saying, hey, how can we make something better? Let's do it here. And that's what this place has. It has the best cable in the world because they made it better. It has the best obstacles in the world because of the forward thinking and whatever you want, you know, put in. It's got the best boat lake now, the best design I've ever seen, and, it, you know, the winch parks are going to be incredible. And we have, I think, probably the most famous person in the country, all the way from the United States of America. <laughs> Vancouver, Canada, bro. Vancouver, Canada. <laughs> but he lives here most of the time. I understand you were a famous gypsy dancer or something like that a few years ago. I was. Very famous. <laughs> I've seen he was actually sponsored by Pepsi, Adidas, all these crazy things. What was the name? Was it Kool-Aid? Kool-Aid, yeah. Kool-Aid. Kool that was one of the, so if you look that up on Google right now, go and go and do it right now. Look it up on Google, you'll see him. And uh, he's looking pretty hot there. You can put in words. Can you just hold that while you're talking? Yeah, you're just uh, ridiculously good looking. Yeah. Oh, I wow. saw that on that. On nice. That. Whatever he says, he wants to make it happen, it, it happens. And like within three years of working with him, he built the best cable park in the world. And then you see everybody coming here for that. And then, uh, like, you know, like in, in, in Europe, there's some um, places in Europe that they have like uh, 50, 60 cable parks, and then they still say this is the best in the world. So as a Filipino Canadian, it makes me feel proud that something in the Philippines is world class, you know? Definitely, definitely. So he's the guy who makes us look good on the, on the internet, um, on, on, you know, on the, all the websites. He helps do all that. He's also an amazing singer. Look out for his music. Uh, where can they look up your music, anyway? Uh, I have a new group called Malaya. It'll be out, like, uh, next month. And this guy, he's got some smooth um, music. I think this is the governor. He's the one who's made all this place possible. So, how you doing? Good. Until I saw you. <laughs> no. uh, what do you think of all these Asians here ready to compete? Oh, it's great that, you know... Um we're having the first Asian wakeboard, cable wakeboard championship, and uh, we're happy that, you know, the fire riders are here, Korean, Singaporean, and Japanese. So it's a good way to uh, promote the sport, the lifestyle. Uh, in CWC, uh, I think this moment is uh, very historical. First time. And it's going to be a lot of fun. A lot of good riding. Cool. So this is, this is history in the making. Uh, we've, we've also got a boat lake here. We've got... So far, we've got about 65 riders. Do you think it's going to pick up when we get the boat lake for next year? Or? Oh, definitely. A lot of people actually want to join, but uh, they're waiting for the boat lake. I think uh, uh, I think there are more boat riders worldwide than uh, cable riders. So uh, if you combine cable with boat, it's going to be uh, thousands of people coming here. It's, we're trying to be the uh, wakeboard capital of the world, and I think we're going to achieve that. So thanks for coming. And... I'll ski you later.